Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a quarry using the computer craft mod. So I just made this on stream a few hours ago and just thought I'd make a video about it. Um, I'll go through the code first. I'll go over it pretty quickly because I know a lot of you probably find it boring. So I'll just try to get through it quickly. Uh, but before I start, I want to say there is a minor issue that once it gets to bedrock, it will just kind of, it'll, it'll just mess up because it obviously can't break bedrock. But uh, I may change that. If I do, I'll change it and I'll put something in, in the description and update the link. But for now, um, it's not really that big of a deal. Uh, once it's at bedrock, you just break the mining turtle to stop it. Uh, so anyway, uh, let's get started here. So to start off, we have this direction variable, which is a Boolean, obviously, true or false value. And then we have the while loop, which is infinite. So this will basically make it mine layers until you know for, forever that's how it works it just keeps mining and mining and like i said it messes up once it's a bedrock um so then in here we have this we create this variable a and then it just repeats until a is greater than nine so then um inside th that's what um mines basically each row um each row in the 10 by 10 area uh then over here this this right here is basically what controls destroying a single row uh, so it destroys all the blocks in the row um, and then after that it checks the direction using this method I made up here uh, causes it to turn left or right and then it keeps going through this basically uh, until it has broken all the rows in a layer uh, again this is a pretty brief explanation so there's a little more to it than that if you have any questions about it you can ask in the comments or join my discord which I'll also link down below and I can help you on there um, and then uh, we'll just we'll skip to down here a bit so um, as you can see, uh, after after it finishes a whole layer, what's going to happen is it's going to turn right, and then it's going to walk nine uh, nine blocks forward. Basically, well, it's, yeah, it's going to turn and walk nine blocks forward, which brings it back to the original starting point. Basically, this the point that the the quarry actually started at, and then it's going to um, it's going to turn right again so now it's facing the way that it originally faced it's going to dig the block below it and it's going to move down a block it, and then it will um it will change the direction as you see here cha uh, sets it to true uh so it's what it originally was uh which which will make it turn right once it's up here as you can see in the method it will then go through all of this again and just continue to do that until it's mined all the layers. So I'm going to show you guys uh, now an example. So this is how you actually use it. So uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is break a block down. Obviously, I've already used it a bit here. I was doing this on my stream. So um, you want to you want to break one block in the bottom left corner of the area. That's that's what it'll mine. Uh, th this is where it'll mine from. So you then want to uh, place it down. Now once you open up your mining turtle. Uh, so I. Um, I actually don't have to. Uh, I don't have to do this since I already have the program on here, but I'm doing it to show you guys how to do it. So um, then you type paste bin get, and then um, the, the paste bin link that you see in the description will be like pastebin.com slash, and then it'll have so, a string of like uh, characters. So you want that, uh, th those characters. The reason I'm not. I'm not saying exactly what they are because like I said, if I update that in the future, then it's uh, going to change because I, I don't have a pastebin account. I just use guest ones, so uh, I, I have no way of editing them. I don't even know if you can edit them. Uh, anyway, uh, so yeah, just use whatever's in the description at the time, uh, whatever whatever code is down there. But currently, it is capital U, capital K, capital Q, then lowercase j, capital B, lowercase r, lowercase k, and then 7. So you do that and then whatever you want to call the program. So I already have my program called Quarry. So I'm going to call it like Quarry 2 or something. And then it will download it. And then you just type Quarry 2 or whatever you named it. You can just name it Quarry, whatever you want. And it will mine as you can see. Uh, so then once it gets here, it turns and then it'll mine the next row. And then obviously now the direction has changed. So now it'll know that it has to turn left here and it'll do that. And then I will uh, I will show you what happens once it gets to the next level. So I'll skip ahead in the video now. So now, once it's getting to the end of that first layer, it's going to turn right. It's going to walk back to the beginning, to where it originally started, change direction to turn to the right, and go down, and then continue through the next layer. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you want to stop it, you just have to break it, and it will drop everything, or you can obviously open it and check its inventory to take things. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope this helped out. 
uh, if it did. Make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe. Also check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash crescendo underscore. The link will be in the description of that as well. Uh, I stream daily and I've been streaming a lot recently. So if you're interested in more things like this, uh, come check out the stream. Also make sure to join the Discord if you need help with anything. And uh, I'll also notify uh, when, when I'll put a notification on there when my streams are starting. So thanks for watching and bye everyone.